Alright, they today we're gonna learn how to take these wheels and make them pretty again. These things are all scratched up. They just yeah. I am not gonna be able to get all them scratches out of there. I've already tried. The other side's done. The center caps are all scagged out. I ordered new ones. Got some uh, red ones. But I'm gonna show you how to redo wheels. This is the little lady's cart, and uh, she pretty much lets me do whatever the hell I want. So that's what those look like. Let's see what they look like done. Remember, still got the skanky center caps in it. There we go. Does that look a little better? That's nothing but spray paint, gentlemen, ladies, children, whoever's watching this. You can still see the scuffs in there. You'd literally have to grind these bitches down. I'm not doing that. But from five feet away, you can't see them anymore. So it came out pretty good. She's happy with it, at least this half side of it. So I'm going to peel one of these off and show you what I did to get this. And I know it lasts because I did it on my convertible in here about three years ago. And these are still good. Didn't really chip off or scrape or anything. It's the same damn paint. Well, it's got my fingerprint in it. That's right there. That's a three-year-old fingerprint. But anyway. Let me get going on this. I'll get a tire off and I'll show you what I do. All right. All right. Got another tire off. Definitely got to do something with all these burrs. So we'll clean this up a little bit with Mr. Dremel. Got to take your time. You might want to turn your sound down. This shit going to get loud. Let me see if I can get it so you can see too. Yeah, that's better. You don't want to dig down deep, just even it out a little bit. And you get the general gist of what the hell I'm doing. We almost finish this up, and then we'll go to the next step. All right. All right, next step, ground all the burrs off so it's good enough. Just, what the hell, they scratched up. Do what you can. Uh, got some zip here. Just whenever it's going to get all the grease and oil off. Got to get the grease and oil off or your paint will fall back off. We're gonna clean this back side up. And then we'll flip it over and I'm gonna clean the other side. Then we're gonna go into the uh, sand and crap. All right, we'll be back. All right, excuse the noise. We got some Paul Bunyan shit going on next door. Uh, I already cleaned the back side. Uh, gonna take this 3M pad, the green one first, hit the whole thing, get the rest of the dirt off, the grease. I'm gonna clean it off. Then I'm gonna hit it with some 220. You gotta sand everything if it's. If you don't sand it, the paint ain't gonna stay there long. So, I get that shit done, I'll get back with you. All right, finished up with the 3M pad. Now I'm running some uh, 220 wet dry sandpaper. Just hitting everything all down in here. I'm not painting from here down. This has got a nice powder coated finish on it. And it'll take the rocks and crap. So I'm just basically painting from here over to here. And that's all you need. Well, you can do more if you want, but it's gonna chip off inside here because that's where all this shit gets stuck. So I'm gonna finish sanding this up. And then we'll move to the next step. Now, all right, it's uh, I hit it with the 3M pad, then I went over it with 220 and re-hit all them that crap where I hit it with the Dremel. So it, it's, it's all right, it's good enough for me anyway. Uh, next, I'm going to take some uh, rubbing alcohol on a paper towel. 
There it is, rubbing alcohol. Paper towel. And wipe it down one more time. Just make sure, and then I'm gonna take the compressor and blow off all the paper towel dust or lint, whatever the hell gets on there. And then I'm gonna start masking it off. So I'll get back to you when I start masking it off. All right, doing some masking. Stick that underneath there. Make sure you blew all that water out of there. I'm gonna go all the way around this damn wheel. And then I'm gonna take some uh, sheet plastic and wrap that all the way around the wheel and tape that on there. You can see I'm doing down here at this ledge. And I'll do that all the way around. And then I'm gonna do this all the way around. That valve stem's already done. So we'll get back with you guys when I start putting uh well, after I get the plastic on it, we get ready to paint. All right, we'll be back. All right, it's all masked off. Uh, got the bag around the outside. I put a bag on the uh, five-gallon bucket so uh, any crap that's on there doesn't blow back through when I'm spraying. And uh, inside here, you don't want to paint inside here. So when I did, I took water bottle caps. Where in the hell am I? Get in there. There we go. Water bottle caps and cut half of the outside edge off and I just drop them in there because if you paint in there when you put your uh, lug nuts back on it's just gonna crush that paint and it's just gonna tear it up and plus there could be a possibility that it'll leave a they could come loose or something but you do what you want but your best idea is to some uh, bottle caps cut them down drop them in there you ain't gonna see in there anyway once you put the lug nut in there all right so uh, what we'll be spraying here today is Duplicator, high performance wheel coating. Just read the can. Just like anything, dust it and then cover. You don't have to go a lot with this because this is your base and you're gonna clear over this crap. I keep trying to get in this camera, I can't. There we go. So, let's get started. Spray the whole thing, nice little dust coat. Make sure you spray on the outside here. It's going to take about half a can per wheel. Get a nice dust coat on there. Don't try to cover it all in one. All right, we're going to let that crap dry. For about 10 minutes i'm gonna put another coat on let dry 10 minutes and probably one more coat make sure everything's covered then it'll be clear coat so we'll come back when it's clear coat time all right all right base coats on getting ready to apply some clear uh same shit uh, dupe color wheel gloss clear coat you got to put enough coats on with the base coat i got about three wheels out of a can with the clear coat i got two wheels out of a can a little less than two Two wheels that open up a second can so you're gonna pile on the clear coat but don't pile it on all at once just dust it and then put a good wet coat on after two dust coats well let's see what we got going on here That's dust coat. I'm gonna put another dust coat on it, and then I'm gonna put a medium wet coat on it, and then I'll put another medium wet coat on it, and then I'll be done. All right, we'll come back uh, after we get all the clear coat on. It says on the can that you got to put the clear coat on within an hour after the base coat, so don't don't wait because then you got to do a whole bunch of other crap. So get it on right away. All right, we'll be back when we uh, get all the clear coat on. All right, all done. It's like. Four coats of clear on there. A couple light, two, three heavy, oh, medium heavy. That was nice and glossy. Looks good. Good enough. All right. Next step is uh. Next step is I'm done with this one. Got one more to do. I gotta let this dry for like at least an hour or so. If 
before I try to put it back on the car without messing it up. So that's it. That's all you got to do. Just follow the directions on the can. Make sure your prep worker is right. Cleanliness is next to your wheel not being messed up. So that's all there is to it. Hope this helped. We'll show you the completed project on the car when I get the other one done and uh, call it a day. Alright, it's all done. Can't put the center caps in because they're still a little uh, soft there. But they came out alright. You can still see some of the scratches here and there, but like I said, stand back five feet and you're going to see crap. So, that's all good. Uh, it's a total of, uh, what was it, 50 bucks for the paint. Three cans of color, three cans of clear. I used up two and a half cans of clear and uh, two cans of color. So, 50 bucks. You know, check other videos, see how other people do it, and find the best way it works for you. But hell, for 50 bucks, fix them AMG rims, and they look good now. Shit, I might even get lucky tonight, the old lady was so happy. Alright, well, till the next project. Out.